All right, welcome to healthyourmath.com. Uh, we are trying to find the uh, conversion right, between the fraction decimal and the percent. So we have 1 over 8 given, need to convert to a decimal, and also a fraction. We're given a decimal 1.44, need to become a fraction or a percent, and we're given a percent, need to convert to a fraction or decimal. Right. So if we have 1 over 8 here, right, given as fractional form, we are able to convert it to decimal by just dividing the fraction, right, and uh, by, by dividing 8 into 1. Then also, if we have decimal, convert to percentage will be easy. Right? So if uh, we do first, right, divide 1, into, uh, 1 by 8, or divide 8 into 1. Right? Decimal point is right after 1, and we have uh, many zeros following. Uh, 8 goes into 1 is uh, a 0, and we have decimal point right up. Uh, then 8 goes into 10, we have 1s. I uh, take away that, we have 2, and carry down the 0. Right, that's complete one step, and we keep repeating the same thing. Right? Twice, give 16, and uh, when we get 40, that's 5 time, and it stop at 40. Right? So the decimal form is finite, we get 0. Point a 1 to 5. And the one we get the decimal point will go to percentage, that will be very easy, right? We just move our decimal point two units uh, to the right side, and we'll be able to attach a, decim uh, a percentage symbol on the end. That will give us a 12.5 a percent. A 12.5 percent. Right, so if we have the decimal, right, 1.44, we're able to convert it to fraction, just leave the whole number part in front, uh, give us a 1 as a whole number part, and fractional part 44, that's uh, two digits of uh, a decimal after the decimal point, so over 100, right? We'll have two digits decimal, so two decimals, uh, two zeros down. Right then, well, 44 is clearly has 4 in there, and 100 also has a factor of 4. Right, basically, that's 11 over uh, 25. Right, so it has a fractional form, 1 and 11 25ths. And of course, uh, when we convert to percentage, uh, same way, we just uh, move two units uh, of the decimal point to the right side and attach a percentage. Uh, Symbol at the end, or we get 144 percent, right? Also, at the end, if we have 35 percent, well, to fra uh, from decimal, I mean, from percent to decimal, that's very easy, right? If we just know the forward way, we're just working backwards, we drop out the percentage symbol. We see the decimal point is hiding over there just move uh, two units backward, right? That's uh, 0 0.35. As we move forward, we we'll just do backward way to get the decimal form. And of course, if we go back to the fraction, by definition, the percentage is just uh, the thing over 100, right? And we just put 35 over 100, and uh, clearly that's 5 inside, so we divide. 5 to reduce that fraction would get 7 over 20.